Hello there and welcome back to some more Forza Motorsport 7. Today we are taking a look at the January 2019 update, although when I say we're taking a look at it, what I really mean is we're going to take a look at the Spotlight car and not much else because that was the only thing that came in the update. The Spotlight car and the Barrett Jackson car pack to see my thoughts on that car pack or alternatively to watch me be angry for 9 minutes. Uh, I did do a video on that yesterday which you can watch on the channel. I'll link it down in the description as well if I remember, but instead uh, we are here to look at the January Spotlight car, the free car that we obviously get every month, and incidentally it's way more interesting than anything in the Barrett-Jackson car pack, so let's get into this. It is the 2018 Audi number one Audi Sport RS3 LMS. 345 horsepower, 310 foot pound torque, 2,601 pounds of weight, S-Class 716 PI, front engine, front wheel drive. This is a TCR car, uh, which is a new take on the touring car genre. Uh, it's basically, as far as I can gather, uh, BTCC, but on an international scale. Uh, it's four-door, five-door cars you'd see every day, equipped with two liter turbocharged engines, and they go racing literally anywhere. But the LMS is especially interesting, this car right here, because you can buy this car from Audi. You can buy it straight out of the box as a racing car as it is. It's relatively cheap for a race car. Um, and you can run this wherever you like, basically. Uh, it's a very interesting program. They've actually got a couple of other cars in it, including a GT3 Audi R8 and I believe a GT4 TT or an R8, I don't remember. Uh, but the RS3 is one of those cars. And for me, it's the most interesting. If you know anything about me here on this channel, you'll know I am a huge fan of touring cars, so it's a very much a good thing for me to uh, see another car added to the Forza touring car group, and it's a very cool car. I do like the RS3 a lot. The new RS3, sort of this four-door saloon, it's an awesome car. Admittedly, my literally my only complaint about the Spotlight car is I wish to God we had the original car in the game, the new RS3. Because right now, uh, the newest Audi RS3 we've got is the 2011, and then we've got the 2015 S3 Saloon. I don't know if that's a case if they're going to bring that in later down the line, or if they're going to bring that in Horizon 4, or, you know, maybe Motorsport 8 or whatever. But I would kind of like to see the base car, because the base Audi RS3 is a pretty crazy contraption. Uh, but, I mean, I will be perfectly happy <laughs> with this thing. It is, as I said, it looks phenomenal. I'm sure it will drive very nicely, I'm yet to drive it, uh, but I'm incredibly excited to do so. It might be one of my personal favourite Spotlight cars we've ever had. Of course the Civic Type R for me personally is always the car which I'm going to keep going back to. But uh, yeah, the RS3 is a fantastic addition to the game nonetheless. It is available uh, to use in a Spotlight Challenge right now, but if we take a look at the car collection screen, uh, there is no new unicorns to go after. Uh, so, I believe they're leaving it up to the community to decide which Audi they want to compete for. Uh, which, basically, in my logic means I don't really care because I've got every Audi in the game anyway. But, uh, you know, maybe that's a downside. No new Forza edition to go after or anything like that. Maybe they'll add that uh, later on, but maybe not. Uh, but, for now, we do have the RS3, which, as I said, fantastic car and infinitely better than anything gotten in the Barrett Jackson car pack which is incredibly disappointing. As always if you want to see my views on that uh, video is on the channel or in the description and I also produced a video on the Horizon 4 Mitsubishi car pack. Also tomorrow I've got to do the DLC rundown for week number 17 of Horizon 4's car pack so a very busy week for Forza DLC but in terms of sort of update details here in Forza Motorsport 7 not a lot going on. Uh, we're sort of still in a wait and see period here with Forza Motorsport 7. Lots of exciting features promised. Uh, we are just waiting for them to come into the game. But considering the majorness of half the updates they're talking about, we may still be waiting a little while longer. Anyways, thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, farewell.